The Center for Global Policy Solutions is special because it takes on issues at the heart of the well-being of the country. And these issues include economic security, health, and education. And we have been fortunate to work with the Center for Global Policy Solutions on economic security. The racial wealth gap is an integral part of the overall wealth gap in the country. And it is essential that this be addressed if we are to move economically insecure communities to economic upward mobility and sustainable economic upward mobility. And the Closing the Racial Wealth Gap initiative does this work by supporting the Experts of Color Network to do research and policy analysis and to educate policymakers and the media and the general public about the need for policy change that would create incentives and structures that are already existing in um, policies for upper income families to save and invest in long-term assets like post-secondary education, homes, businesses, and, and retirement security. The Color of Wealth Summit is critical to informing policymakers and the media about the racial wealth gap, both its magnitude and some of the root causes for this disparity. The report provides objective research about the wealth gap by race and ethnicity, both before the, the recession and in the midst of the recession, and even continuing as we are in the, um, in the recovery period. Current policies create incentives and structures that allow um, upper income households to benefit by being able to save and invest in long-term assets. But these policies are not effective for low in income uh, communities and communities of color. Uh, policies that would provide for children's savings accounts would um, ideally create a savings account for every newborn with a uh, publicly funded deposit into that account. And babies born into low-income families would receive a larger deposit. This would allow all children to, um, at age 18, get started with a financial asset that would allow them to further their education or buy a home or start a business or invest their money in a retirement savings account. And so it is, it is essential that the long-term solvency be restored for Social Security in a way that is not a burden for low-wage workers and, and workers of color. Um, it is also important to improve the benefit adequacy of Social Security so that workers who were vulnerable to poverty during their working years are not subject to poverty when they become uh, senior citizens. The National Academy of Social Insurance uh, conducted a national poll which showed that the majority of Americans agree with these two objectives, to restore solvency in a way that doesn't burden low-wage workers and to improve benefit adequacy of, of this, the program. And this was true um, not only um, across income levels, but also across generations and even across different um, political party affiliations.